Well, Tiny Zuchibis here, and we are back with Twisted Wonderland Masquerade. Glorious Masquerade. There you go. That's the correct wording. Um, so I had started. The, the internet decided to be weird and fucking stupid. And so it kind of booted me out, and I lost the thing. But I was only like two minutes in, so I wasn't like... I actually lost much. So, yeah. Like, it booted me out like before I actually even started it was just like right here where after I had just clicked the thing and I was like on this screen waiting for it to load so it's not like I really lost anything per se you know a dis that distinct ringing distant. um lecture hall Yawn. I'm beat. After putting on that big show, I just want to go to my room and pass out. You must wait. One of the students here asked all social participants to assemble in this hall. I think all the students from the other schools are here too. Perhaps they're going to give us give our schedules for tomorrow. Is it the Pillow of Solace? It must be. There's no mistaking that distinctive ring. I thought the bell only rang at morning, noon, and night. The nighttime bell has already rung. So why is it ringing this late? Huh, is there some sort of flame in the corner of the hall? Th look, like flowers, actually. Oh, look, there's a bunch of pretty red f flowers by those pillars. I don't remember them being there when we first arrived. They're beautiful. I've never seen anything like... Did those guys just touch the flower and collapse? What's happening? I'm getting dizzy. Uh... The students near the flowers, they're fainting one right after the other. And more flowers are popping up at, at an alarming rate. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Uh, it's not just you. I'm having a dizzy spell, it seems. It appears the people closest to the flowers are fainting at the fastest. The sinister glow they have. It's enough to give me pause. Is it possible? Am I actually frightened by those tiny blooms? Heck. The propagating flowers are climbing up my legs. Heck, what is this? Strength fading. There's more covering me. The fainter I feel. I feel I may be... Malleus! Are you alright? I'll get these flowers off immediately. Sit tight, please. Ghastly plants, how dare you swarm our liege. Be gone and wilt. Silver, Selbeck, you came through for me. Please step back and allow us to handle this, Malleus. Mere weeds dare to harm the great Malleus. My magic shall obliterate you. Probably should have had silver and silver like, actually in this game. Oh well. Gotta be careful not to cut too much. Oof. So seven, eight, fire lotuses. Gonna kind of tap it, make sure nothing happens, because I don't want it to fucking reject me again, which would be fucking annoying. Ugh. Where are my shit? I keep losing things, but I don't know why. Fire lotuses. Wither plants. What in the world? 
These flowers just resort itself as magic. The more spells we fire off, the more empowered they become. Their color, the way they glow. It's almost like fire. Careful! These flowers are sprouting up behind you. Get away! We won't make it in time. Yeah. Nothing happened, guys? Oh, so with the story I'm writing, I also need to keep a note of some more things, too. What? They aren't doing anything. Great. You had me worried over nothing. So you're right. Are you right? Ah, uh, I have it. Everyone, put away your magic pens. But wouldn't the flowers swarm us if we do that? Apple, we must listen to our wise professor. Selbeck and Silver, that goes for you as well. Do as Tyrion says. Yes, sir. The flowers aren't multiplying as fast now that our pens are away. No, watch out, everybody. Get back. Royal, Royal Steen Note Juice. Oh, no. He felt still pending us. Riddle, stick behind me. You two card soldier. Don't just stand there. Sure, I never asked you to cover me. I can fight. Aha, uh -huh, we're all expiring mages going to school on the same island. We gotta help each other out. Get out while I distract him. Next. It's no use. We can't defend against these flowers. They've already surrounded us. This is a jaster. I must notify President Rolo. Act. Stay away from me. The mages trying to fend off the flowers with magic are getting totally overrun and collapsing. I can't draw any defensive conclusions from just this, but it's a peace-safe hypothesis to say these flowers respond to magic. Everyone gather around me and listen carefully. Wherever you do, don't think about using magic right now. Do you know what these flowers are, Professor? I don't want to believe it, but given their fiery appearance... And ability to absorb magic, there can be no doubt. These are fire lotuses. Fire lotuses? I've never heard of such th flowers. Are they common on land? No. It's the first I've heard of them, too. And I... No, I'll remember if I've seen one. I could hardly blame you for not knowing about them. Even I don't did recall them immediately. They're plants that thrive on all manners of magical energy. When you say all magical energy, does that mean? Yes. That includes magical energy of mages such as ourselves. When they sense magic, they reach out their vines, much like other plants reach the sun. Then they grow roots and absorb the magic. They'll continue to sap a mage's magical energy. It serves as nourishment to help them bloom. And once they absorb the last of a ma mage's energy, the mages lose their magic permanently. They lose their magic? Dude, that's a final boss right there. They must be the most OP enemy in all of Twisted Wonderland. There's a plant that horrifying growing on land. Wait, that doesn't make sense. If a plant that's dangerous exists, surely we would have learned about it in school. Fire lotus were extinct centuries ago. As I understand it, people back then banded together to wrap the entire species in light of its dangers. Nowadays, books in on the history of magic give the plant only a passing message as O's legend. Precisely. Then Armalius, that's Armalius, your iteration knows no bounds. This guy just never stops. But what is an extinct plant even doing here? And why is there so much of it? That would be a better question for him. Hmm? And we have our fucking main villain of the day. Oh, I should have put somebody in fucking that land. Can I even do that lunch now that I'm actually? No, I don't have that one yet. Damn. Hmm. So you're still standing. I suppose you wretched academy reputation is deserved after all. Matt, it's you! Upward. There it is. 
Nein. I was worried I used the exacto knife to cut too low into my foot when cutting the callus, so I was like, oh no. But I seem to do all right, so it's okay. It's okay. At long last. So you're still standing in dead after all. Two. Rollo. Hey, no fair standing up there where the flowers can't get you. Was well, this all you're doing, Flamey? Indeed. What an arctuse observation, considering what other fools you are. What did you just call us? You wish for me to say it again. Utter fools, all of you. You can secretly imagine how hard it was to contain my laughter as I watch you all blandly indulge in your merry making complete ignorance of all the lotus fire lotuses I was setting out my my that was a quite unpredictable villain line you know silence you are the villains here and what more you flaunt your magic and mem mesmerize our good students with it you mages cannot be suffered to exist but worry not, I shall bring salvation to incorporeal villains like yourself. I shall engulf the world in the fiery crimson of these flowers, and strip every mage in Twisted Wonderland of their magic. Say what? And there he is, folks. The secret mastermind who is controlling the final boss all along. But what kind of mastermind jumps the gun and shows up this early? Dude has like zero patience. Could you not right now? You're ruining the moment. <laughs> I mean! Strip us of our magic, but then I wouldn't be able to become a great mage. That ain't cool. What reason could you possibly have to do this? Were these plants to spread Blair Valley would not escape the scratch. Regardless of Flamey's motives, I cannot stand by and let this happen. Huh, this is exactly why you utter fools. How dare you! Three times now, you call Malleus an utter fool. I've had it with you. Time to teach you some manners. Regar Agreed. Rule of Flamey, pre prepare for battle. We, can't st we can stop you without magic. I'm never a fan of brute force option, but I suppose there's no alternative when our foes can't be reasoned with. Yeah, I can't just ignore an invasion of plant species. I'm going to put a stop to this before it spreads out of control. Ha 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 ha. What's so amusing? You are far too late for that. My plan is already well underway. When the Bellosaurus rang for an unpredictable full time tonight, it surfuses the city with magic. The fire lotuses aren't the only in the schools. They spread up throughout the cities and are sapping the energies from every mage living here. They spread throughout the city? Everyone, look outside. My word, what a sight. The flowers are growing brighter and brighter at the expense of the people. While the flowers harbor no ill will, I cannot possibly call them beautiful. Beauty. I thought you were an honorable guy, but no, you were just a dirty, low-down punk. It's on now. Come down so we can throw down. Hm. You Night Raven College students are only mages here still standing. What could you possibly hope to accomplish by yourselves? By all means, struggle and fight. And curse your own impotence soon enough. Uh, what was that noise? What noise? I didn't hear anything. I definitely heard something. It's a faint mechanical sound. Whoa, it's getting louder. Just kind of. Hmm? 
Allow me to invite you someplace more fitting so you can channel your energy appropriately. Ah, the floor is falling. <laughs> the floor is gone. I'm falling. <laughs> By the way, he made a fucking pun joke and I am not approved of that bullshittery. <laughs> it makes me so happy that he likes this one. I'm like, ah! <laughs> we fi will finally be rid of it. And those accursed mages with Ma as Draconia is foremost among them. They'll all be finished. Enjoy your time down below, though I think you'll find it quite draining. At long last, I shall finally merit out my justice. God, fucking hate stupid ass jokes, fucker. So I need grass and fire. That's fine. It's kind of snipped up. <sighs> Getting rid of plants. The fucking sound effects here. I must protect my students. Everyone, brace for impact. Her. <laughs> Oof. Land it right on my butt. Is everyone all right? I think I'm okay. Ow. Glad everyone's okay. Looks like those who couldn't handle their own land landing are unhumped thanks to Professor Tyrion. Nicely done, Professor. Naturally, I landed fine on my own by applying a bit of wind magic. Is this really the time to be sucking up? I see flo fire lotuses have reached here as well. Where are we anyway? There are more flowers down here. They're covering everything. It's as if their ground's on fire. So that was his plan. Drop us in a pit of flowers to drain us quicker. How cowardly can that human be? We have to do something about the flowers. We cannot let them get malleus again. But the, they grow by absorbing magic. Can't use magic to destroy them. How will we handle them? <laughs> it might not occur to you, considering the ambience of magic you were born with, but non Mages have their own method for getting rid of plants. Getting rid of plants? Oh, I think I see what you're getting at. Well, wanna fill us in? I think what he means is... Uh-huh. Well, that's simple enough. Even I can do that. It's a laborious text, but it is indeed needed to... Alright, is everyone ready? We're basically weeding. I don't. If we don't want these plants to suck up all our magic, then it's time to get picking. Just kind of easily eliminate all this shit. <sighs> and then we'll do eleven. 
So I need water and grass. So big. And if I I'm looking for the next gold card with water and grass on it rather than I don't have so many Celtics. Whatever. I'm still paying silver nonetheless. I could probably take out Trey, but I'm not going to because I would like to have my husband those in the team. I would. Hmm. Your form is all wrong. Huff, huff, pat, pat. My paws hurt from pulling all these plants. I typically prefer p picking stalks, not stalks. No stalks, not stalks. Ugh, sis, ouch. I must say, doing weeding at my age wreaks havoc on my back. This is a new experience for me. I've never knew picking plants was such a taxing endeavor. And every time I think I have things well in hand. Alias, look out. More flowers are at your feet. It's nerve-wracking. Constantly make sure to don't get entangled. Not to mention time-consuming. Yeah, I'm about at my limit. My stamina meter is going to bottom out before my MP does. Come on, guys. you got to pull your legs. got to pull with your legs. Your form is all wrong. Those stems ain't coming. Gonna get, I'm loose if y'all keep stooping down with your back. Get down in the dirt. Sispus times calls desperate measures. What? I won't be outdone by any human. Like, okay. So my <clears throat> thing is... Why do I... Like, me as you... I have to like and actually be up in the dirt and shit because if you think about it, uh, she doesn't, ha your character doesn't have any magic. So technically, you can just fucking walk, like, you can walk to the edge of the thing and be like, okay guys, I'm gonna be like over here, so I'll wait for you out outside the, uh, the dark tunnel. I'm just saying. Doesn't it doesn't it make more sense if you just kind of walk out the dark tunnel and be like, "Yo, bye guys. I'll talk to you later." I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe because I'm like I hate exercising and doing exercise shenanigans and I also don't want to fuck up my back. So I'm like, "Yeah." You know? But that's just me. Like moth to flame. Have have we cleared the area? I'm done. I've done weeding before, but this still wears me out. Uh, guys, Professor Tyrion's still crouching on the ground over here. He is. You're right. Are you okay, Professor? Back too stiff. Can't get up. Sheesh. A few weed weeds and you guys are crying uncle the small smallest kids could handle this kind of job back in the slums i'm so worn out i don't even have any energy to get annoyed at your weird weeding flex i'm with you guys i used to do weeding all the time in the orchards back home but these fire lotuses have strong long strong roots they ain't no garden of variety weed indeed they are not Uprooting even one is a, a dark obvious task. You said the people erratically playing Longo, how did they achieve that feat? Their methods have not been passed down in our lore. But considering how swiftly these flowers multiply, I doubt they did it by picking them one by one. To think the plant species could propagate so quickly, even down here with no sunlight, with bo what a bothersome bloom. 
Oh, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. I believe it leaves outside. I'd like to find out where we are. Let's set up. Let's step outside and see. Like, I seriously would have fucking walked the fuck out. Be like, guys, I love y'all, but bye. Peace the fuck out. Ma, the moon's so bright. Oh, that says it. The same waterway we visited earlier today. So we dropped from Noble College Lecture Hall into the underground waterways. Waterways? Oh, yes. I read that there's a network of underground channels across the whole city. So this is one of them. Noble College looks to be right above us. If I were to happen to guess, I would say Rolo kept the fire loaders prepared for his plan in this very waterway. Hmm. He would have needed ample time and resources to achieve and revive an extinct flower. This area is concealed in, from view and is close to the school, so it would have been easy to hide the plants here. If this was where the flowers started growing, it would make sense that the waterway is teeming with them. I don't know where Rolo gets his hands on these seeds of, all, of an extinct plant, but boy. <laughs> talk about classic villain movie. That guy does not disappoint. Where are these flowers? This popped out of nowhere. Someone help! My family's covered in red flowers and they won't wake up. No, stay back. Ah, I can hear the townsfolk screaming. It's late. Most people would be winding down for the night. They probably, they were probably cut off, caught completely unaware. All the mages in town must be getting attacked. That is so frustrating. I don't get it. Why is Rolo so angry with mages? Or maybe I should ask what happened to make him feel this way. How should I know? And why should we care? Since he views mages with such disarray, doesn't that mean he hates himself? He's the one of us too. Of course, the logic of such twisted human being would elude us. Given the depths of his hatred, I suppose the social was all part of a diabolical scream as well. What? It only makes sense. While we don't know the reason why, Rolla cares clearly despises mages. He must have prepared to use the fire lotuses to dispower students from every arcane academy in the one foul swoop. And he walked right into his trap, blissfully ignoring all the while. Like moths to a flame, huh? From where Rolla was standing, we must have looked like a bunch of brainless worms. Yes. As much as it cringes me to admit. He was right. We were complete and utter fools. Okay, but like... I kind of think he was targeting Malleus from the start. Okay. So we're going to end this episode here. And we will continue with 13 through 17 next time. So for now, Tiny Sajibis is sending out.